Hi again. Hi again, fam. Happy Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I guess that's... Are you guys all getting gr green out there? Who's... I see Lucky Duck grows up in there. <laughs> lucky Duck. I always say Lucky Duck. You're a Lucky Duck. You are a Lucky Duck. <laughs> We're going to have some Lucky Ducks tonight. All right. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Uh, tonight should be a fun one. We're going to go into the tents. We're going to check out all the plants, uh, all the Lord of the Lemons, the triploids we got going, how they've been going since we've transplanted them into their Did pots and homes. Did we manage not to kill them? Did we manage? Who's made it? Who's the survivors? <laughs> Maybe not all of them. <laughs> but we're going to get to take a look uh, and see what's going on. So thank you guys for joining. Happy Sunday. Um, and we do have some giveaways coming on later in the evening. So, you know, just because we are thinking some people could get lucky today. You guys, who's got the, who's lucky. the luckiest out there? I did wear my green today. Got a little green. I guess they don't have any green. Maybe my shorts are, my pants are kind of olive. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of green. You know. you know what kind of green I'm into? I got some green on the arm here. Bing bong. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm always green. Yeah. He's always green. Yeah. So anyway, how has everybody's week been? How have we, uh, you know, gotten to Sunday? Tomorrow's Monday, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a wild weekend for sure. <sighs> Bing Bong is here, and um, yeah, I, th I think that he he wants to get high again with us tonight. I'm but sure. Should we look at some plants first? I'm sure he will. You want to dive right to that? Well, maybe a minute. In a minute. Yeah, let's let let's let you guys join in, hang out. Where you guys? Where are you guys watching from tonight? What's up, ILYF Gardens? Uh, thanks for joining. Right Congrats on that win on the last After Dark. You guys coming over from Scrog School? Yes. We were watching that, uh, chatting up. It's exciting to see uh, Troy over there doing yeah, his thing. Northern Scrog are getting down, starting the new Scrogs. We'll definitely be uh, tuning in to those on the Sundays, uh, watching the progress. And we have some Scrogging plans of our own. Yeah. That we'll check out tonight. So we will be uh, joining along on the Scrog School yeah. uh, on at least some of these plants that we're going to look at tonight. Yeah. So the triploid ones that we've got going on, you guys know, uh, those are the ones that are going under the Scrog net. And uh, we've been implementing some things with that that we learned from the last grow as well. So our, I'm yeah, really excited scrog. about this this next run, especially with it being the triploids. It's going to be you guys are going to want to stick around. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a nice grow. Yeah. Yep. So, so but it, we will show you that in a minute. Yeah. yeah we're going to, we're going to dive into the tents, take you, we'll show you all the plants, what's growing on, what we're, what we have planned kind of for each, each of the tents. Uh, Cause we're going to be trying different styles, different nutrients, different watering methods. You know, we got some autos going, we got some, a bunch of photos going. So it's going to be photo tacular. <laughs> Sad word how it is now. It's gonna be phototacular was, coming I, up. That was cute. Over I, these girls, you know, like, yes. yeah. I love it when you come up with new words. I, I'm I'm good at that. <laughs> phototacular. And and then we'll have some fun giveaways uh, towards the end. So thank you guys again for joining. Um, happy Sunday. Yeah. We getting high again. Totally forgot it was even mm. even. Uh, Saint Patty's Day. Saint Patty's Day. Wow, it's been. It's been a crazy, crazy weekend, and I guess I'll just, I'm going to fill you guys in because it could have effects or ramifications uh, down the road. Uh, but yesterday, my dad called and said he was having uh, issues walking. So we, uh, we went right over there immediately, uh, took him up to the ER, and he has basically had a stroke or a micro stroke. Um, so he's up in the hospital. He's going to be going to, uh, like, recovery. Um, and hopefully can regain a lot of that um, just function, you know? So it's, <laughs> it's been an emotional weekend for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was definitely something that we didn't expect to happen this weekend. We actually expected to be building our scrog net for, for this next grow, which don't worry, you guys, we still have time, and we're cool. definitely going to continue to fill you guys in with that. But yeah. we had planned on doing that this weekend, but it 
uh, life decided that we had other plans. <laughs> so um, we actually went out to lunch and stuff on, um, on Saturday, and uh, my, it was my son's birthday this last week. So we went as like a family uh, little outing on Saturday, and when we got home, we had gotten the call. So we kind of had to drop everything and kind of go. Yeah. So, yeah, yesterday and today. So luckily it wasn't catastrophic, but he does have to do some physical therapy and uh, make some life changes, which we will have to help with. So as Neil said, it might, you guys, you know, it's good to feel you guys in now. So you guys know what's kind of going on in our lives in a real way. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of a roller coaster this weekend, but, um, you know, things are, things are looking positive and, you know, we're going to make moves to make sure that everything is, is good going forward as best we can. So, you know, people in your life, tell me you love them because you never know. So, whew, getting a little emotional, got that out the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if we don't seem like completely on tonight, that's kind of why, you guys, we've had our, our, our mind and heart has been not right here in the moment. So, but that doesn't mean that we don't love you guys. Yeah. So thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys again for joining and uh, always good vibes and love. It really helps and we appreciate it a lot. So, yeah, you guys, you guys are the best. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. Um, if you guys want to know what we're smoking on, <laughs> this is <laughs> the micro nug. This was the whole plant. Well, I did some of it's in here. If you guys, if you guys <laughs> did see the latest video, like the very start, day zero to seventeen of the trip woods, <gasps> you saw those two little <laughs> the mini autos that we had definitely stunted, um, and so we <laughs> we trimmed it up on the Patreon live, and then we uh, let them. We weighed it. We were all having fun, kind of weighing it to see how it turned out. But it's the uh, that's the fast buds. This is the um, what was it? Z. This one was the strawberries. This is strawberries. The one that won first place. Uh, that yeah, our, is ours the, not a, a great example, it's but um, the American Auto. Good, Cup yeah, good winner. buddy Flowers who win the the cup winning one at the American Auto Flower Cup. His turned out amazing. Won yeah, you might want to smoke his. Ours turned out as a single nug, but you know what? We we still <laughs> we enjoy it. Big yeah, big yield, big yield, Norma G. We had that. We put the single nug we in did. the bowl trimmer. And no, just, and we <laughs> weighed it. We put the whole plant on. The, on the scale, what was it? Yeah, it was 6.7 grams. 6.7 grams. <laughs> it was, it's the one nug. You know what? We're, we're enjoying it. And it's, it smells great. And it's 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 you know hitting. What? I told you I would smoke it. <laughs> yeah, we're we, we gonna enjoy that one. Say we gotta savor the flavor. <laughs> it was an epic way in Norma G said. Yeah. <laughs> scale could barely handle the weight. So yeah. So Josh asks, how can autos stuck get stuck? Right yeah. Josh asks, how can <laughs> autos get stunted? And uh, you know, <laughs> honestly, they can get stunted, you know, generally overwatering will cause that, or those particular ones. That's we good, had though. started them in solo cups because we didn't have time to get the pots ready, and we didn't get them out of the solo cups before they basically established their roots, hit the sides, and said, Oh, hey, we better start flowering to survive. So you know, generally, yeah, just you know, don't do what we did. Yeah. Do what we didn't. Do. Yeah, it's really, it's really a, uh, it's an art to start them in solos and be able to transplant autos successfully and not have any kind of an issue. That one we just we waited too long. The roots hit and put them in pots, and they were just already flowering as just yeah. like this little teeny. So we just let we let them grow out, um, and that's kind of what happens sometimes. So we did the best we could. Uh, but you know, still whatever. We've got some smoke on those. But we'll have some we'll have some better ones coming up soon for sure. Big bone can't wait. Yeah, yep. So you gotta really watch them if you're gonna try and start them in solos and transplant them. It can be done, and we've done it before successfully, but those ones, you know, life just got away from us and we didn't have a chance to get them out of there uh before they found found the edges of those cups and, and started flowering. So, whew, man, 451 in here. Thanks for joining. How many of you guys oh were over at Scrog School? How many of you guys won something over there? How many? Fun Raise giveaways going on. 
we're going to have some fun giveaways from Humboldt coming up tonight. So you guys will be able to uh, score some, some good, good and uh, get something from their website for free. So that huge shout out to, uh, to Humble and uh, yeah, we got some gifts. We're gonna yeah. giving some uh, Humble away tonight. So, um, oh hi, oh hi, grow has never met Bing Bong apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the scientific research and green studies. Being St. Patty's Day, I am fully prepared to test all of the greens and strains, which is all of them. I'm right there with you, bud. Let's do this. <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> He's ready to rock. I could probably use one of those as well. Yes, you can. I got one right here. What's up, Ruse? How's it going, fam? Love seeing all you guys out there. Hilltop Smoke, what's up? Justin, Ohio, King Fam, Corbin. Psh, thank you guys for joining. Can't wait to show you guys the plants where they're at. <laughs> Neil leans off camera. You like that? <laughs> Nobody knows. You're Bar. such a great ventriloquist. He's got a voice of his own. <laughs> Lips don't even move. <laughs> Hello. I don't know how to do that. How do they? You got a smile? Hello. <laughs> I'm Bing Bong. <laughs> the Ohio <laughs> gang out here. How do you ventriloquist a bong? Because it's. You got an small. easy part where literally you don't really have to that make its a mouth move. Small nug big hits right there. Mouth. King family, orange cream pop. We're gonna be looking at those tonight. We just started. Oh, look those. at look at it's right here. We do actually have some hand delivered uh, from Nat and Ben uh, from Humble when we were out in Vegas. So that's part of the Lord of the Lemons, guys. And if you guys didn't know. Um, Lord of the Lemons is going on right now, along with the triploid hunt. There's still time to join. We just started ours. Sounds like Joe might be restarting his. As you guys, we got a little clip. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it tonight. Something came up, um, but we know how that goes. And um, <coughs> and we also have a little clip from uh, Dakota. We can check out his plants and see how they're going as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get to see kind of everybody's going on. But if you guys didn't know, these grow alongs are happening right now, um, and you can actually. If you didn't know, Nodo's always cracking me up. Nodo's is hilarious. <laughs> you guys can definitely um, get in on these grow alongs. Any lemon strain doesn't have to be one of the ones listed or one of the ones we're growing. Any lemon strain can get on a Lord of Lemons. Triploids are obviously the triploids um, from Humble, either the OG triploid or the donuts triploid. We are growing the donuts. Um, and if you guys want to share pictures of those grows, definitely come on uh, the yeah. Discord. Join us completely free. You can actually post and share pictures of your grows. We have rooms for the grow alongs. Um, so you guys can share all the pictures. Look at all these ones killing it already. Lemon BB from Strain Man 420. Dang. Looking like a beaut. D <laughs> these buds grow. Got some <laughs> got some beauties going on. <laughs> these buds. I like these buds Jeez. grow. Look at them. Killing it. Oop. Topping. <gasps> tops. He topping. Ooh, we, I love tops. We're going to add a fire on, emoji I on that tops. one. I love tops. Everybody looking great. So, and there's rooms on here too, guys. You can share your grows or whatever you're doing. Ask for help. We got a bunch of really great rooms. It's free. There is a link in this video description if you want to jump on the Discord. Like I said, completely free. We can also check out the triploids and how those are going. Looks like everybody's starting to get into that fun stage where they're starting to to do some stuff. Hazy Susan got some floor flex pots. Love it. Oh, I love that on the spinner. Who's got the, that would be so fun. I remember once, uh, man, what was it? Bill Ward, when he, it, he took that pool and he put it in, Lazy Susan he put it Sprogger. in a big, uh, he took a pool and he put it in on a big Lazy Susan so he could spin the whole like kiddie pool around and he grew like a, like a whole ton of autos in it. It was sweet. <laughs> Bill, Bill Ward's cool. He's doing Bill fun. Ward He's is doing cool, cool stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, I, uh, I want to show you guys our triploids. Yeah, let's let's jump to uh, jump to the take it to the tents. Should we take it to the tent? I don't know. Do you want to settle up that hit you just took? Yeah, it's a little hazy in here. Yeah, you just fast times at Ridgemont High, you know. Oh man, love the keychains uh, and the <coughs> in the decal. Yeah, we actually just got um, some more of those in. So if you guys are looking for the tent tags or the decals. Um, 
definitely you can join our patreon we'll send you one for free with uh with those tiers and then also you can just get them off our website if you're looking for we got restocked because we ran out completely <laughs> so we didn't have no more but uh we got some we got some more now so uh, is it time is it 10 time yeah it's 10 time i just read a, a, a comment from rob and it just it, that sounded awful i'm sorry that happened to you fam oh no what happened I didn't see. He had a lot of plants and doing a lot of things. And he got it taken from him by the government. They're always trying to ruin the good time. I, you know. It's a plant. The government can lick my balls. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, take it to the tent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So. We start, are we starting with the autos here? Yeah, I want to show them, because we didn't get this rid of this one, but I, because I wanted to show it, because we saw, we showed it to our, our Patreons, um, but there's something seriously wrong with this plan. Yeah, here, one of these guys, I think we're going to have to RIP, and we can take a look, we can see what you guys it. think, because I'm not really sure. Um, but one of them is doing very well, and these are both auto flowers, these are both fast buds, um, purple punt, or purple lemonade. Uh, but look at this one. It's just really, look at it. It's, I don't it's know. It's like shriveled. It's like been growing like that since it was a seedling. Yeah, it's been, it's been shriveled and weird since it was a seedling. Um, and it's got like some kind of just like weird malting action going on there, right? What do you call that? I call that messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I call that a throwaway. Okay. So... <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna gonna stick around, guys. We'll probably pull that because I don't think that's really gonna keep going. We went direct to pot with these. Uh, we germinated in the can of can. If you guys didn't see, there's a video out of the start of these where we germinated everything, that whole process. This one's kind of getting all these grows ready, uh, and then starting these. Even that one has kind of a, like a little bit of. It, it's showing signs of the same thing. Right? It's really weird. This is both. They're both fast buds. Purple lemonade again. It's. Maybe it's because our humidity is really low down here. That could Literally, definitely be. Literally, none of the other plants are doing this. It could be. It's just these two. Does that does that look like something low humidity would do, guys? That's oh. been doing that since it came out, though. Yeah, so that, that one's been weird sense since it. Me. Yeah, it's just been growing. It's like always it. been like that. The other ones. This you one know, just started showing signs of that. Doing pretty well. But it's that just one is strange, right? Yeah. So this is the autos right now. I'm suspecting we're going to rip that one out and throw it away and start some more autos. I don't know. It's, I'm suspecting too, but I do want to see what people think about it. Yeah, right? What do you? What are they saying over there? I don't know. Let me zip this pen up. Zip it up. Um, oh, yeah. Some new slaps, though. It's bad genetics, they said. Bad genetics? The train rubs fast, but do the same thing. The DB grows. Malt, it's like some kind of malting. I've seen it before on like what well, sometimes when plants start out, we'll see that we've seen it on autos before, but they usually, but they grow, usually out grow out of it quickly, you know, it may be the first set of leaves or something like that, but they tend to grow out of it. That one just seems to kind of get worse. It's poopy, Dave says. So, Dave, <laughs> we maybe that poopy one, um, yeah, who knows? Maybe Thanks, that Dave. we don't think that one's gonna go. We'll probably start another auto, and you know, usually we let our patrons vote on those on our Thursday, every Thursday. We do a live, these ones, though, these the ones triploids. though, triploids, guys. Here is our triploids doing fantastic. Oh my god, look how happy they are! They're really doing great. These leaves <clears> have been weird since the beginning. I think they just grew like that. Yeah, some of those, some of those very first starter leaves, but the other stuff's oh coming in god, good. Look how wide these leaves just are! Just super fat. Look at how and, huge they are. And you guys, okay, so I did want to talk about this. Oh, so you just lost your microphone. You lost your muff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so with our last grow in this same tent with kind of the same setup, we noticed that one wasn't doing as good as the other. We didn't really realize why that was happening the whole time until we were done with the grow and we saw the roots and we found that they were just oversaturated. Yeah, definitely. So we have implemented this meter in here 
Yeah, so, we were using a VWC meter now from pulse that links up to the hub. So we can literally see the moisture level in the cocoa. We can watch the drybacks better and we can make sure we're not, I over. guess, oversaturating. So um, they've actually grown quite a bit yeah. just from yesterday. And we switched up our timer as well. If you guys watch the video um, that we have up, we go through the setup and how this system works. So we won't dive too much into detail, but we did put a new timer on, which allows control down to the seconds. So we can do smaller watering intervals, more spread out. It gives us more control. So we can really, you know, avoid the overwatering, the over moisture, maybe some of the root issues we saw on one of the Neil to heavens. Um, but I think we've, I think we've got it figured out and I really expect these to do amazing. I mean, they're growing great so far. And the plan is to what? What are we doing on this one, babe? Um, we're. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. We're gonna be scrogging. We're scrogging it yeah. out. Yeah. So uh, that's what we are actually trying to do this weekend, but we yeah. will be getting that this week. So hope we want to get that up so we can get it as low as possible because per Troy, you said as low as possible and start your training as soon as possible. Yeah, yep. So we we have all the stuff to get the scrog going and set up, guys. Um, and we're going to build our own this time, and we'll explain why when we when we get to that point. But, um, yeah, we're ready to go here. This weekend just kind of took us for a loop, so we'll, we'll get back to building that very soon. But super excited for these donuts triploids. And you guys can still join um, if you go to Humboldt's website. Use code HUNT. You can save 15% off your order. There's still time if you guys want to jump in on the grow along. I know some people are just starting. We're, at, I think, day. We'll Look check the days leaves, in a minute. Look though. Uh, day what? Yeah, I think, I want to say 27. And we've actually recall. not watered these in a while because they were saturated. In, yeah, we were able to we see that. To see the dry back. Yeah, we were able to see it was super moist. And then we wanted to let them dry out a little bit so we can watch that and then figure out when exactly to water. So it's wild over these last few days how much they've grown in the dry back. Yeah, yeah, pulling moisture out. I think that's great. And because when it's overly saturated, especially... You'll probably have more issues if you have an auto and it's overly saturated yes. because the roots won't it. try and reach. They won't go looking for water and grow a bigger root system. They'll just stay where they're at because yeah. there's plenty of water there. And that can lead to, you know, root rot, root bound, you know, a lot of issues. So that's something we're definitely, you know, trying to really get dialed in this grow is the watering, the drybacks, and just mm -hmm. trying to maintain, keep that in the perfect conditions. Yeah, so I'm steer. very, very excited about, about this grow. I cannot wait to see um, what it's going to look like two weeks from now when you see this again, you guys. Yeah, yeah, wait two weeks, guys. It's going to be blowing up. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited about these, the Humboldt triploids. Um, and with our Patreons, we got stuff to do in here this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we might be starting tucking soon yeah. once we get that scrog net up. So shout out again to Troy for uh, inspiring us to do our first scrog, which inspired us to do our second scrog. Our second, <laughs> our second scrog. Al Canister, I we don't, I don't have the large uh, tent slaps for sale, uh, but they they are custom made. You know, maybe maybe I can make one and mail it to you. But we, we did this Neil back. makes those himself, you Yeah, guys. we made them. Um, and we, then... he says we, but it was him. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, when we when we went through at the end of the grows, when we got all the fast flowers out of here, those seed harvests are coming. I got, they're in the works. Um, but we cleaned everything out, did, and then we, we made some new backgrounders and <laughs> put those babies up. But, yeah, why don't you, what's going on here? So what we have... Um, both of these are the orange cream pop in the back are both orange cream pop one is organic and one is foraflex yep so if you guys take a look at that back one left that's all that's been organic um and these were all potted up the same exact day this one's just been in dry amendment uh organic soil mix mm -hmm. what did you what did you put in that mix babe um so i always start with a 444 and i usually just put a pro mix in there but this time I did Promix Cocoa 
I did also throw some diatomaceous earth in there because we were having a gnat issue with the last row, and I didn't want that to become an issue again. Yeah. So I did put some of that in there. And then I also used uh, 444 by Down to Earth. Yeah. In ProMix. Yep. And that's the that's the uh, Orange Cream Pop Humble for Lord of the Lemons. Orange Cream Pop Humble, Lord of the Lemons. But this one is on Floriflex. Um, and this one we've been running flex, so they're the exact same day, um, just a different medium in nutrient system. So we, you know, we're still trying different things. Yeah. Um, and we're really excited. So this side actually, we're going to be running the uh, auto pots uh, tray to water system. So both these five gallons are in there, and then this system, when we kick it on, we haven't yet because the plants are still kind of small. We're letting the roots uh, kind of expand. Yeah. <clears throat> But when we turn it on, it will just water these and they'll basically, when they drink the water low enough, it'll refill off a reservoir over here that we set up. <clears throat> so we uh, we were looking into getting that up higher off the ground, like you guys had said. Talked to the guys from Autopots. They actually said that it'll work fine even just on the ground. Um, but yeah, so I mean, orange cream pop on Floriflex is just going crazy. Like the leaves are yeah, huge, just wild. like the, the Humboldt's. Um, so we're really excited to see how bold we know it's not the exact same pheno, same, same yeah. strain, but different beans. Uh, but we will be taking some clones from these we're guys uh, yep, and giving them to um, some friends to keep growing. So if we do find one that we really love as a keeper, we'll have an option to, you know, get some back and see how theirs turn out in just a different growth style situation. Yeah. And also not only that, but then we can really take clones at that point like we are going to be getting into that soon we just haven't got into it yet but don't worry guys we have a lot planned <laughs> the clones are coming and then these two up here what are these ones closest to me so these ones are the lemon bang bang by uh exotic yep so these are lemon bang bang exotic genetics again organic on the left there this one uh potted up the same time is on floriflex and these floriflex ones are just running pure cocoa and literally nothing else except the um, the, the four flex mix and water. So they've been going good. Been watching the drybacks uh, on these ones as well. We do have that different timer that goes down to a second. Uh, it has a little light sensor, so we'll only water during the day portions. And I think right now I want to say I have eight seconds of watering every six hours. I want to think of it is, but we can check. We can check that later. Yeah. And see exactly what day these are on for sure. Everything in here is run under the Evo 8, which we've definitely been crushing it with on the past few grows. Uh-huh. I mean, we don't even really have to turn it that high. No, we at don't have to stage. turn it high at all. Like, literally at all. And also, last time we opted to raise some of the plants instead of lower, or instead of... Raise them closer to the light instead yeah. of lowering the light. Exactly which is just throwing things. I mean, we can't really now because we got the tray to grow unless yeah. we lifted that whole tray. But then, you know, since it's gravity fed, we can't really lift it higher than the tank. <laughs> I don't even want to try to do that. <laughs> right? So that they're going to stay where they're at pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what's going on here. This is the plans and how they're growing. Organic versus flex. It's going to be fun. Um, and the, each of them are, you know, each strain gets a try in each. So we'll see kind of at the end, again, how they all turn out. I thought it was pretty interesting how the Tropicana cookies, fast flowers turned out organic versus flex, right? So, yeah, I mean, I'm already seeing a difference, a huge difference, um, but this is also really early in the grow, so. Yeah, yep. Flex, flex has been a good one, and if you guys didn't Always. know, you know, if you want to try it, it's probably my favorite system right now. It's a powder form, so it ships light, but you can get a starter I try kit. I some similar things. For real different. cheap, and it lasts multiple grows. And if you if you go to their website, um, you can use Hygen. It does save you save you some dollars, and it helps the channel a little bit. So these are the rest of the Lord of the Lemons. Rest of the Lord of the Lemons. And they are All in the photos. same the same mix as the other ones. And these so ones are doing same mix. yeah, yep, same exact uh, soil mix as the other tent there. All also organic. Up closest to me is the this is the lime Kai, right? Yeah, look at her from Umami. Mm -hmm. she's doing great she's looking amazing um and you know unfortunately the other one because we started two of everything one of the um purple lemonades looks like it didn't make it one of the umamis never popped um but the one that did is yeah just doing oh, amazing and doing then so bad. the two in the back i would say nearly identical exactly. those are the soul fires bahama peel 
Wow. And we planned those at the same time. And I would say they're doing, you know, really, really well, both of them. Almost the same. I really love the Evo 6. I think this is my favorite one, a favorite light out of the Evo series. Yeah. Evo Evo 6 in a 4x4 is a really great fit. I think it's perfect. It's going to cut you a little bit lower heat, um, but still great output. Maybe not wall-to-wall -wall coverage quite as good, but, I mean, it's definitely going to fill a whole town easily. Um, <clears throat> so if you're looking for something a little bit more budget-friendly, you got a 4x4, Evo 6 is probably your best option. Although the Evo 8 will fit if you want to go big. Yeah. Whew, so I do I, plan on top dressing. I know I saw a comment out there. I do plan on um, feeding these. Obviously, I don't think that the nutrients in the pots are going to take it through flour. Um, but I do plan on top dressing with the Roots Organic Terp Tea just because it's classically one of my favorites. Um, and see how it goes. <laughs> terp teas? I love the terp tea. Yeah, it's worked really well. It worked really well on the last grows with the um, the fast flower. Yeah. That we did turned out turned out great. Yeah, it's one it's it's one of the ones that's like uh, I I kind of always just gonna come back to. Yeah. Yeah. She's a classic. She's, it's good. <laughs> it's real good. Is that all upstairs? <clears throat> What? The chop cookies. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we're not smoking that. So that's kind of what's going on in the grows, guys. So, I mean, honestly, these are just going to be all organic. We're kind of kind of let them go. We'll do some training, maybe some topping. Um, no scrog planned for here, but you never know. It might get spicy. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's planned for here right. completely yet. Uh, this, uh, this lime kai looks like it's... It's going to be a beaut. It's going to be, yeah, pretty. And she looks like she's going to be a stretcher. Yeah, she's definitely the tallest out of there compared to those soul fires and everything. So we'll play with her uh, this week probably and look at her with the pates. Yeah. So we'll get some updates. If you guys didn't know, we do do live streams every Thursday with the fam. Those are private lives, but you guys join in. We all talk and, and, get, we and get real high And we work with the plants. You know what I mean? You guys tell us. Should I top it? Should I? <laughs> we usually it? let you guys vote on do Should we top? I, do yeah, we do just what? like things do like that. Do we do what? We do some live polls, so it makes it fun. But we, I think we should be voting on some new autos to start because I think we're gonna <laughs> we're plucking that one for sure. <laughs> yeah, the one in there. What she, is up with that? She ain't doing great. <laughs> She's eating Gilbert's grape. <laughs> <laughs> she ate Gilbert's grape. <laughs> Gilbert is now grapeless. All right. Um. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the full updates on what's what's growing on in the tents. That's the plans for what's coming up um, and kind of how we're growing. Everything's off to a really great start, except that one auto and basically the lime kai that didn't make it. I think the, the flexes are looking at pretty explosive. Actually, let's just take a real quick uh, gander. Oh yeah, shoot! At some I of them to stats. plug that back in while we were in there. You refresh us real quick. But just to, taking a look at the tents and what we got going on the pulse. So everything we just looked at today, guys, all of those plants day twenty seven since they were in soil, um, and I think the the only ones that took a couple more days to come up above the soil was the soul fires. The soul fires, but yep. they're both doing great. When we planted them, they didn't have any tap roots, and Joe's like, "Put them in the dirt." So we did, and they made it, both of them. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, and we've just been feeding the flex on the medium schedule, I believe, uh, for photos, and then just kind of trying to watch the drybacks more. AC Infinity. Whoa, AC coming in with the Evo 6. Evo 6? You're going to give one away because I love it so much? I, that really is my favorite light, you guys. Here you guys go. Boom. Go ahead and just type Evo 6. Be in it to win it. Thank you again, AC and Finney, for being Thank the dopest um, and throwing down on fun giveaways like I this. I love that. that was Always awesome giving of you. back to the community. Some, I told you there was going to be some lucky ducks tonight. Yeah, right. We were planning on that. So AC just coming out of the blue with a banger. So, so the chat's going to go crazy, guys. You only have to type uh, Evo six once. 
to enter. So don't don't worry about spamming it. It's not going to get you more entries. Uh, I love that. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Yeah, please smash <laughs> that like, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, when this is done, if you guys want to see more in detail on those grow setups um, and how we started everything for the grows, or you're looking for the links to join the Discord yeah. and more information about the Lord of the Lemons grow or the off or the triploid hunt, um, go watch that first video of the whole, we're going to do one every two weeks, kind of keep you guys up to date um, while we drop some of the older seed to harvest from plants that we finished. Um, I got to be honest, this run of the triploids though has to be my, I'm most excited. About. Really? I think we're going to kill it. I think what we learned from the last, our first scrog that we did with the Neil to Heavens, what we saw with the watering issues we kind of faced, even though one of them did turn out really not bad. Um, filled up the whole side of the tent. The other side, we had root issues because of overwatering. Um, but I think we kind of learned from that. And then, you know, looking at some of the data, we we're, we're making informed decisions to really get them to turn out. I think we're going to have I mega love sprog. this. I love that we're like implementing science and like, okay, well, Floroflex is a science as well, right? And then we're implementing the science of pulse and the environment and how that relates to the plant. And we're like, we're figuring out what's best for the environment that we are in. So I, I, it's fascinating. It's yeah. fun. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Keeping everything dialed with the AC controllers, the new Gen 2 Cloud Rays, guys. If you didn't see um, the new Gen 2s that are out, I'm going to make a video kind of comparing, contrasting the differences. Um, but they're definitely an upgrade. And they do have a thing going on where you can, if you had one that was defective from the original series, They'll let you trade it in and you can yeah. get a new one. Like not many companies doing that, and stepping up ones? and they're beefy. They've substantially they beefed nice. them up and added some really great new features. Um, so I'm going to make a vid on that, guys, give you all the deets. I actually have a box And right here. get you guys the information on if you need one replaced. Um, if you had a first gen that didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. The, the S, S6 the gen, gen 2. 2. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. These some buttes. I might put one by my face when I sleep. Yeah. Yup. Yep. Same, you know, just an upgraded, better design from the first ones. And that's bringing, bringing in the new. Y'all are the best. Three, three, baby elephant. Was that your, was that your baby elephant? I did, yeah, whatever. Well, <laughs> should we let, should we keep collecting some entries or should we, should we roll this baby? I think or Bing Bong a, wants to hang out for a right, minute. If you're going to do a Bing Bong, I'm going to do a. I don't even know what to name this one. There's no name on this one. No, there Baby isn't. Blue. There isn't. What are you guys smoking on tonight? Anybody just harvest? Anybody harvest? Who harvested on St. Patrick's Day today? Who got a bunch of green on the green? Or who had it? Who had a cure finish out? And today's the first day you got to try it. You're like, I saved it for my St. Patty's blaze. Bing bong. I can't believe somebody's gonna win an Evo Six. That's so cool. That is super cool. Thank you, thank you guys again. Thank you so much, AC Infinity, for yeah. being awesome. You guys always are showing up. If you guys didn't know, we do do the um, After Dark over on their channel every other or every second Wednesday of the month with Home Grow TV and Basement Grow Show. It's always a fun time. We have fun community highlights. If you guys yeah. didn't know, you can tag hashtag My AC Grow. And we'll pick from you guys from the community. We find we find people who are doing dope stuff, and we we share them on the show there as well. And you get a cool swag pack. Yeah. So really appreciate AC for not only and helping. And you can't you. buy those things in the swag pack. You literally have to have AC send them to you. Mm -hmm. And there's this cute little keychain, this little tent keychain. Sometimes you get those, and that's my favorite one. A little baby tent. I have two of them, um, and I won't give any of them away. <laughs> Because I really like them. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. So I'm going to do some of these. Beep boop. Ba -doop. Are you ready? Uh, I was born ready. I was born ready. I'm using the Focus V Carta 2. And I ordered this glass from a really cool dude on Instagram called Enjoy Prosper. And me and Bing Bong are just over here hanging out. <laughs> Hand of the heart. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 
I could taste that one. That was that was a good one. Tasty. These are some. Uh, <coughs> I'm smoking on some of the extracts that we got from all of the leftovers. If you guys remember, um, on the fast flowers, one of them we just took and processed the whole thing. So we got a whole bunch of we got a whole bunch of the gooeys. So <coughs> we be dabbing. We be we be dabbing a little bit. But it turned out good. Pretty flavorful. Oof. Okay. Let's pick a winner. Let's get a winner here. I'll let you oh, do, babe. What? What? <coughs> Evo 6? Who is going to win? Who's the lucky duck? Who is? Tonight. Let's get it. Um, if you guys do win, make sure you... Uh, this was from AC Infinity. So... Email AC Infinity. Wait. Giveaways. Giveaways at acinfinity.com. Make sure to include a screenshot of your um, YouTube profile so they can verify. But thanks again to AC. Make sure you guys go over yes, there and drop a you. follow on their um, on their YouTube Todd. channel. Todd! <coughs> 0864, Raiders fan. Todd, you just won yourself an Evo 6. Evo 6. Which is going to crush what? it. Congratulations. Congrats. You are a lucky duck tonight. But you guys, don't forget, we have other things to give away. Um, what do we have? What do we have for him? <laughs> we do, but before before we get again, to Dad. there, um, I did want to touch on just the watering that we've been watching. And we've really been pay, pay, paying close attention to the drybacks. And we can see because the plants are small and they don't drink as much. The, you know, it's been staying moist, and we don't want to overwater at that early stage. So we've been using the pulse to monitor, and we could see, you know, even though we had smaller watering intervals in a longer time period, because they're so small, they're still not drinking up, so it's getting really moist. So we disconnected the water. Uh, we disconnected the watering, and then we can watch our dry back and wait until it becomes dry enough in there to water again. So we're going to really focus in on that these grows and try and, like, learn a lot. Um, and just get a better understanding on how that affects the growth and nutrient uptake. And I think we can really kill it on this grow. Um, just taking a look at these. And again, everything was day 27. Could you, did you see those triploids? Day the 27. I, and it's bigger than my hand. I guarantee by next Sunday live, those leaves are going to be like way bigger than your face. I'm going to fan you with it. Like a queen. What if like it's as big as my whole body? <laughs> <laughs> what if? <laughs> <laughs> but they've been going well we've been watching the ec and the ph keeping everything in there and everything's been really maintaining well um and actually you know that's how all our plants are doing joe sent us a little update even though he couldn't be here tonight wanted to give you guys a little update on where things are at over there okay we've been doing a little bit of painting down here in the basement and uh yeah, thank you Cam. some of that overspray might have got on our girls here in the early stage of her life. We figured we'd go with a matte black um, just so we could really showcase the definition in the leaves. And they do not oh, like boy. overspray, man. And when you're painting your basement, everything blacked out, you get quite a bit of overspray. So much so that, like, you can kind of tell where your sprayer was laying. You know what I mean? It's, it's <laughs> that much overspray. Hopefully they bounce back. If not, we're going to start them over here next few days. But we are getting some green back to life. And they are breathing a little bit better. So stay tuned. If I don't mess this up, I think growing these girls is going to be the easiest thing ever for anybody. Man. Oh, my gosh. You know what that reminds me of? When we, when we sprayed the basement, we did the ceiling over here ourselves. And, man, the overspray on those, even though we taped and, like, taped well, we totally, like, surrounded everything off. Like, it gets everywhere when you're spraying with one of those sprayers. So, apparently, they affected Joe's plants a little bit. Might have to restart. Maybe they'll bounce back. What do you guys think? Yeah, I remember because you guys, if you don't, uh, you probably if you've probably seen the video, but we spray painted our our just our ceiling, and it took us a little while, um, but he had to spray a whole lot more than we did. Yeah, I could just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we 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 did all this all the black uh, with the sprayer ourselves and man <laughs> they got everywhere even with the goggles it's like oh my gosh yeah, I, can't I remember see taking anything. the goggles off yeah. and like both of our like face was lined <laughs> we looked like raccoons when <laughs> we were because right? we had goggles but like we also had masks on so but like 
you could see exactly where the mask was. Yeah. At. I think they'll bounce back. You know, nature will find a way. <laughs> but I'm for real. Life. You know what I mean? <laughs> Must have been those dabs. But yeah, so Joe had a little messed up, but I can't wait to see till it's done down there. I think it's gonna be oh awesome. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, he's really he's really investing into it. Kind of kind of exactly like we did. Like we really love this guys. We appreciate your your guys' support. Always watching and showing love and stuff. And you guys who use the code and the people in Patreon, like, we really appreciate it, guys. It is a dream to try and do this full time, but it, in a real way, it's very hard as well. So we're trying yes. and we're trying to keep up with the content. And, you know, we're doing the best we can. We're really focused in this year and uh, we're really excited about all these grows and you guys getting pumped about it. So I can't, I can't wait. Like, the year's already like flying by. It's like, man. Here well, we are. Let's help other Day. people get some grows. Let's do it. We got another giveaway to get going, don't we? And yeah, and give some things away. Okay. Oh, thanks, Eric. That means a lot. What should the code for this be, baby? <clears throat> whisper it to me. Uh, give me a whisper. I, um, <clears throat> <laughs> I wonder how many people could hear. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. Go ahead and enter that, guys. We got um I two, everybody could hear. We got two forty-five dollar <laughs> uh gift cards to Humble. So you guys can pick up a three pack. Well, it's not a, I don't think it's enough to get the triploids, uh, but you can get anything else, orange cream pop if you want to get on the Lord. I mean, it, it'll won't it like add to it? Yeah, or it'll add to it. So, you know, thank you again for Humble throwing down. So excited to be checking out their genetics this year, maybe going out to the farms and um, doing some pheno hunting this year, maybe. Uh, lots of fun things coming up, guys. We're going to be at NECAN uh, in Grand Rapids here, September 20 and 21st. And word on the street is Joe and Troy might be coming as well. So you guys, it'll be an awesome opportunity oh if God, you want to meet us. It would be super fun. So NECAN's coming up in September. It's quite a ways away. Mm -hmm. We're letting you guys know now so you guys can plan. Uh, and do that. And I think on 420, we're going to be at the grow store. If you guys want to come meet and greet and you're close enough, Nature's Edge in Greenville, I think 420, that's probably where we're going to be, which is a Saturday this year. Yeah. Yeah, which means it's the and they're weekend. Having a, they're going to have a band there. Food um, trucks. At 420, yeah, food trucks. <coughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. So if you guys can make it out to any of those, that's some things we have to look forward to uh, coming up this year. Maybe another Pimp My Grow. So if you guys haven't seen some of those ones, definitely go on the last After Dark and comment the city that you want to see uh, Pimp My Grow in next. Yes, Where should I we forgot. go to Pimp the Grow? Who needs to be pimped? Yes, we would like everybody to, like, we need to know what area needs to be pimped the most. So yeah. where should we go next? We wish we could go everywhere, guys. Um, and we're trying to figure out where to next. Las Vegas was the first year because it's what really worked out to get everyone together. But, you know, if we can keep this going and, and keep keep the love and support in the community real, like we can do more. We can go more places and meet you guys and, you know, really. But Nikan's going to gonna be level. fun. We're going to try. I would like to do a little meet and greet thing at Nikan. We're going to be uh, we're going to have a booth and whatnot. So uh, I'd be. It's gonna be fun, especially if that guys end up coming. You want to take a look at Homegrow TV's plants and his Lord of the Lemons and trips? <gasps> yes. Ooh. So he he is. This is he is out in Spain, I believe, still. So this is just what's going on. Probably maybe Grove O'Brien working the cams, but yeah, everything's looking great here. And I'm pretty sure that Dakota said that they run cocoa and worm castings. So his are all kind of pretty much at the same stage we're kind of at. We're pretty close together uh, on when we all started these. If you guys were there on the live streams that we did. So this is the first of a bunch of upcoming uh, community grow-alongs that we plan on doing. And, uh, you know, excited like for, to that. get you guys part of them, to be able to grow along and try and give you guys enough notice so we can plan these grows out and have these fun community things. I think it's not only neat for that, but also because at the end, then we can go back through and make really dope seed to harvest with, you know, really the results so from fun. It's gonna be so basically cool. all of us growing the same strain and see, let's see the variations across all those, you know, we'll probably find some really great things. 
in all these different breeders. So we're trying so many new breeders that we never tried before. And we get to show everybody Fire, that like may be genetics. interested in them before they buy them. Like, oh, this is what I could potentially see in the grows that I yeah. have, you know? Especially when you're doing it in so many different ways, because all of us grow so differently as well. So. Yeah, for sure. So if you guys win tonight, pick up some orange cream pops. <laughs> Come on the Lord of the Lemons Grow or any lemon strain. Just join the Discord, post your picks, um, and we can check those out. There's already been a whole bunch of people in there posting um, stuff from the Discord. So you can come in, share your pictures, where they're at. We're posting. Here's the updates of the the two we just looked at. Look how much they've grown already since this picture yeah. a couple days ago. But, right? The leaves are even, even huger. I think that's right before the we dry back. I think undid it, the water. There's something to that. It is. There is. Oh. So um, I think I got to plug that back in though. Oh, look at this. The stone ape just added a great one. Look at these. Beep, beep. Ready to go. Oh, hell yeah. Orange cream pop. There you go. I like that. I'm excited to see all these grows and see how they I'm all. I'm going to drop a weed heart on that are one. <laughs> are different. <laughs> so uh, who's going to win this? Baby, me Who and is? Bing Bong want to have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> so for these ones, guys, if you win, you're going to email us, hyganmi at gmail.com. Let me get the thing up. Boop. Can I have some water? I, I didn't bring my down here. Okay, please. Thank you. She thirsty. <laughs> she my mouth is so dry. I'm sorry. Water bottles <laughs> I'm are mistake. life. Sometimes I forget my water. You guys got to drink your water. I probably drink like four to five of these a day yeah. at least. At least. Sometimes I drink like two of them a night. When I'm sleeping, I'll like wake up in the middle of the night and I'll get so thirsty. I'll drink like an entire water bottle. Right? I mean, you guys will never see me with a water bottle. And then I wake up and I have to pee bottle. like nobody's business. It's... It's a vicious cycle, really. <laughs> it's a cycle. <laughs> All right. I mean, we almost got 600 people watching. There's only 376 uh, in here. If you guys want in, just type Bing Bong once and you're in it to win it. Yeah. Let's go. It gets humble is, I mean, we've never grown any humble that hasn't, you know, really turned out. Yeah. We did some autos. What was that? Did we do like a sour apple? Mm -hmm. I feel like we did that at your old house. Mm. Back when we got back from Canada Fest in Chicago. Just James, Larry. What other ones did we do? And ICANN was there. Did we do some other ones? I don't know, but I'm if, excited about these these trip ones. Like, what if what if these nugs turn out to be as big as my head? Me too. What are what are you guys most excited about that you're growing? I'm excited to try some of these new breeders. I've, they've been looking, man, Soulfire looks like it has some really impressive stuff. All of them, Umami is supposed to be all about terps, terps over everything. So it better be terpy. Mine all died, Norma G said. Norma what? G, oh no, they didn't make it. All right, ready? Want to roll one? Run it. Run it. How many do we have? Two. Maybe we'll do one more for everybody. And we'll we'll send you guys something personally, some stuff to get Jason in the grow along. Jason Hill. Jason Hill. What a thrill! <laughs> <laughs> you just you just you like that bar? Go keep going. I was waiting bars. for it. Oh, well, there was something more. That's bars. all so he's that's got. Some, I'm good for those <laughs> those add-ins and the hype man. I'm the hype man. Jason Hill. Jason, congrats, man! You got a Humboldt gift card. Shoot something, us an email. Something. It's a thrill. Something, something is a thrill. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you are all right, man. One okay. more. Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait till we get to six hundred. So it's even. We need to. We need one more person. We need an even six. You hear? We need another. We ain't not about that five point nine life. Five five ninety nine. <laughs> but maybe six, we please. are. Oh man, we oh, lost man. You man. Everybody's like, "Fuck you." Swear, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Those eight people were like, you may ever win it. Well, wait, you wanted one more? Well, now you need nine. <laughs> they hate us. All right. Go ahead, baby. You can do <laughs> What am I doing? Draw uh, again. Draw again, yep. A bell, a bell. A pew, boo. The, I saw guys, a merry go by. <laughs> Mm. 
Groho! Groho! Oh. <laughs> Groho! Groho! No, what just happened That's with how my how mouth? That's how it's gonna oh. go. <laughs> Wow, that, man, that really is a Auto Flower Cup winner. We gonna, we're going to have the American Auto Flower bid coming up soon, guys. I want to get a seed to harvest out first. But congrats, Girl Ohio, man. You just want a gift card to Humboldt. We're going to hit you up and give you all the deets uh, on how to claim that. It's going to be a code. So please include, a, you guys, you two guys who won, please include a screenshot of your, um, of your YouTube account so we can just verify. Got to be real. Should we do one more? I'm sorry about my brain. <laughs> should we? Do, should we do? Let's do one more, uh, and then we'll send them. We'll send them something. Whoever wins, we'll send you some of the new key tags, the weed rich ones for your tent. Are you keeping track of all this? Yeah, we're just doing one. The other two just have to email so, me. Oh wait, no, we can actually tonight. send. Let's do some of the orange cream pop. Let's send some whoever, and this is coming from us. Yeah, we'll do something cool. It's a mystery. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. It's Heaven's <laughs> owl call to the owl that lives in the woods. There's an owl. He's... I talked to him. <laughs> the, the, the rooster. <laughs> Is that his name? The rooster. Congrats, fam. How ironic. We're going to send you a little something special Owls, personally. Roosters. They all make sounds. Yep. We do, we do be doing the uh, giveaways on Patreon too. Actually, all you guys who won, we just mailed those out Friday, so you guys will be we'll getting send. packages soon. Yeah, I did send all those out. So, yeah, <laughs> the rooster. Man, that one really got me. Doing what does good. the rooster say? Rooster. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't know. What? I'm not very good at animal sounds. What were you going to say? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. You don't know where that was going. I'm fucking dead, Chuck. The, the rooster knows. <laughs> cock a doo doo <laughs> Ryan knows. That's it. cock a doo doo I'm fucking dead. I'm going to die. Like, We really got you. <laughs> give, give us your rooster sound. Rooster I gave him multiple. Rude <laughs> <laughs> oh Girls is out there. <laughs> Cock a doodle doo. That seems to be the consensus. You got to give us a good sound, though. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> 10 points. You, you win that one. Way better. Hey, um, if Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? E-I-E-S? <laughs> Eyes? <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, my God. Man. I'm, my babe. I'm so I need, sorry. I need, I'm a, good, I need a good them. laugh after. <laughs> I need a laugh after much. this weekend. So thank you guys always for being so dope and hanging out with us and just being awesome. There's lots of fun stuff coming up this year, and uh, we're super excited. Can't wait to meet some of you guys this year. I think Nikki will be fun. <laughs> you're dying over there. You're, you're cracking up, babe. You're funny. It's my rooster sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts now. Oh, yeah. All right, bing bong. One last, one last one for the road. He's in Big Mong ready. I've been ready. He's always he's always waiting in the wings. <laughs> he's always backstage, like, let me on. Let me on. Let me in, coach. Right. But I'm hoping to have a seed to harvest this uh week, guys. So that's my goal. I'm gonna be busting butt and hopefully everything goes well with so what's what's going on in the, the real real life outside of this. <laughs> um it's gonna be it's gonna be busy and we're gonna do our best to uh stay in touch always. So we'll see you guys um Thursday for Thursday. the Patreon live. We'll check Thursday. up on all these plants. Yeah. We're probably gonna be hopefully we'll have our scrog net by then. So yeah. I was just about to go to the hardware store to get the final pieces when my dad called and I was like, no scrog. 
we're, we're saving lives. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, fam. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys all have a great night. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Do vid soon. And uh, love you, fam. Thank you guys again so much. Bye again. Boop, boop.